Hi friends, Mickey from Pikmin here, and today we're going to make an auto layout absolute position notification. So you can see here that we have this button as I type in text, it grows from the left and you'll notice our notification moves with it. I can type in here numbers and you'll notice that that notification grows as well. So let's make that. All right, let's just move that up, bring back my interface. I'm going to press the T key and I'm going to type in the word button. I'm going to select that and press shift A. This is going to put it inside of an auto layout frame. Let's give that auto layout frame a fill. I'm going to make that dark blue for now let's go to my selection colors and i'm going to make that white so here we go so we have our button i'm going to round out those corners let's just round them by a value of let's say four let's take a look so this type right here is 10 let's make that 16 and name that layer we're going to name it button now that we have this set you can see that as we type in text it's going to grow and expand and the reason is because the resizing on the frame both the horizontal and vertical have been set to hug now let's make the notification i'm going to press the t key i'm going to type in the number one make that a value of 10 so the font size is 10 i'm going to press shift a that's going to put it inside of an auto layout frame for this auto layout frame let's add in a padding of six on either side let's set that fill that background fill we're going to set it to red let's set that text inside to white we're going to keep this height at 24 but we're going to set a minimum width we're going to set a min width of 24. Now we're going to round out those corners. We're going to round out those corners to a corner radius of 24, and that's going to make it a nice little circle here. I'm going to select that frame. We're going to make it into a component, and let's just duplicate that down here. I'm going to cut this, select our button. I'm going to hit paste. Now you'll notice that it's inside of the auto layout frame. We're going to come up here to the top right and choose absolute position. Now that it's been applied to absolute position, I'm going to hit the top align and the right align. And you'll notice what that does is it sets the constraints to right and top. Now I can use my keyboard to adjust and position it. So you can see it's Y position here. We could set that to negative 16. And that X value is now going to be contingent based off of its width because its constraints have been set to top right. So when I type out button here, now let's test out our numbers. Let's put in some numbers and we can see that it is growing from the top right. So how cool is that? That's all for today. And as always, happy designing.